especially concealers because I like a full face and especially this area of my face I like it to sit nice and full everybody has the way that they like to do their makeup I like to do my makeup this way to do a full face girl your face does not look like a covering I know I really know I know I'm not covering a lot I know I don't have to cover things I know but I really like it. Can we just stick to this? Is how she likes to do her makeup. I also know there's a lot of there are a lot of trends going on now with all the TikTok videos with makeup and all of that stuff. A lot of trends going on now. You know how you should apply your your foundation, how to apply it under things underneath first, and then you know foundation on top. You want to be whatever. I just feel like when it comes to things like that. 
But when you are looking at me, put makeup on. This is just so you know what you can feel confident in what you can do when you do it. When you see me do my makeup, you'll be like, oh, I can also do that. Yes, you can. But especially this type of video is not really a teaching video. It's just a video of me doing my makeup and talking to you. Uh, so this type of video is you seeing how I like to do my makeup and not as much as I'm teaching you how to do it. Because that, that would be different because then the video will be centered around if you have like oily skin, maybe do it. I have no more to dry skin and I think there's a couple of teaching videos already here on this channel that you know of where I focused on teaching you how to apply and how to do what. So those type of video are teaching videos. Just so you know, I didn't go to school for makeup. I am, am self-taught in the mirror, make mistakes, look very ashy. My friends can attest. I make mistakes, do it again do it again including making wigs it's just things i taught myself how to do and of course i watch some of the youtube girls like see what they did but for the most part to find out what i like i just played around and then see how my skin reacted to certain products certain styles how the weather reacted to my skin or the products reacted with the weather when i applied them on my skin depending on whether when i'm indoors when i'm doing a full day out when it's like those type of things in my pictures how does my face show up all of those things i learned literally by trial and error so i don't want you to be afraid um when it comes to trial and error trial and error when it comes to doing makeup for your face because at the end of the day luckily this is just something that you can wash off and then tomorrow you try again and then you see you improve same thing with everything else you do that and then this one you do for yourself. I mean, sometimes you just do your makeup and you're at home. So those days you can play around and see. Ah, I saw Orunda do this. I wonder if I can also pull that off with my face. Most often than not, you realize that you can. I think we just overthink the application of makeup and you think, I cannot do that. Mm, I promise you, if you give yourself a chance, you can do it. And if it's also not your thing and you don't want to do it, then you also don't have to do it. You know what I mean? It's not something that you have to do because the girls are doing it. If it's not your thing, it's not your thing. Sometimes we might just be like out of trends if they are not our thing. And some of this like makeup trends and stuff what we're doing and all of that. Mm, I look at them and I'm like, oh, this is cute and interesting. And then I leave it out. Because at the end of the day, that's why there's so many people. And there's so many different types of breads out there. <laughs> so many different types of sugars, different, you know, like brands of clothes, brands of foundations like different types of foundations, different shades of foundations, formulas and everything because you realize there's always a segment of people who a product works for better than it works for another and then for the ones that don't, they go for another. That's why all these brands just keep making money. Um, I don't think it has to do, especially when it comes to makeup, we must all be in one box and makeup is linear, you must just, no, don't, don't feel like that. <laughs> Because it's just makeup, guys. Honestly, it's makeup. We wash it off. We have fun with it. Most, most girls who are into makeup and teaching other girls how to do makeup, it's just basically they got into it. They saw people were struggling. They're like, oh, let me share. I literally started my channel because my friends were like, how do you do that with your face? This is how. So all the 50 views that you see on my channel are my friends. People close to me who see me do my makeup and curious about how I do my makeup or do certain things. And then they watch. I don't feel too pressed about it. I am eating. I went in with the L'Oreal um infallible stick concealer i really like this one this is one of my specific ones that i like and this is just a powder that i got from a local i can't even show you the name now because i already put the powder in here from a local beauty shop so i'm just dusting it up anyway i say all of that to say don't give up on your makeup journey i can do this i cannot do this you can do it you can really do it this looks like it's a lot on screen because of the light but it's not that much in person and also you know when you see and you hear that there are girls that barely do um, foundations and all these videos were filtered my videos are not filtered not even when i edit the only thing i use is a, is a ring light so what you're catching is literally what is happening it doesn't have much and i'm going to go in with this fit me poreless normal to oily skin powder i'm going to let this set because i'm going to start with the eyes i'm using maybelline this one is in the shade what shade are you? Pecan 355. So if the color changes, it's not me. No shading happened and I have battery life left. So I'm going to use the battery life that I have left. Just 
the area that we might take here the dimp the the dim here the <laughs> the this here that one the, the, what did I say and then I'm going to go to my eyes now I'm going to uh, try and like carve out my eyes and then I'm going to, I'm going to use a spoolie brush and the setting spray see now I'm getting to my eyebrows I'm doing this just so I can brush them up my eyebrows are a little bit unruly because they are a lot it's low shading so if my video goes a little bit dark I'm already apologizing it's low shading and I'm using this foundation thing I got from a local beauty shop that I've been using a while and I'm just spreading some of it on the back of my palm that looks nice I got my palm, I got my hand and I'm using that to outline the eyebrows so not light just fine because I want to go for a bronzy look with uh, probably a dark look I'm going to try and just give you the one side camera decides to darken <laughs> apply that to the entire lid if you have an oily lid, please make sure that you first a setting a primer um, I really would use like a normal primer but the uh, uh, eyebrow no I did primers eyeshadow primers eyeshadow primers <laughs> yes they are eyeshadow primers my favorite one that I usually use is the one from wet and wild I will buy that thing over and over again then you look at it like it's the same thing no uh, it's just the one for me so I'm going to go in with the fit me pour less normal that the powder and see just how it sits on my skin and then use that Oh, it sits just fine. Eyeshadows are usually made for this type of area, but mm, colors like brown that we don't have. You must just use what you have to create a look sometimes. Powder. Let's see if we can use it to set and doesn't give me a very weird cast off. I'm adept it in there and I'm just going to use it to blend that area in. And this brush that I use is just a brush that I bought. I'm gonna buy this brush look at paper eyeshadow brush. Ay. I'm going to use this bronzer here as the bronzing thing that I'm going to use for my as the bronzing situation. <laughs> so I'm going to use that dark one there and use that as the bronzing thing that we're going for the eye. I'm going to use just the, like a brush that's also buff or a lot of, you know, stick, but it's more slightly less, it's more like this than like that. <laughs> Hope that makes sense. Shoot, I hope that makes sense. And I'm going to use that to just then like, apply on the lid. And just as I like it on the outer corner, because I think I'm going to go in with something lighter. No, I think I'll put it all over the lid and then just go over with something to create it like a more pop. See, it's such a nice one because it's like it's a shimmer. But it's just a nice bronzy one. You can literally use it to bronze your face. The brush that I did with the setting powder, the tapered one. No, that's not the one that I used. It is the one that I used. I used the same one. Anyway, that tapered one. I'm just going to go at the top here between the that um, light powder that I put and then just blend and blend also this layer of the glow what is this thing called the bahama bronzer just create magic so you can hardly see it but it's the and that's almost like a bronzer look in nature. I like it very nice. I think I'm going to, after it's gone, I'm going to turn on that so I can see if I can show you what it looks like on the eye. And you can see there's a lot of fallout here. Thank goodness for this here. God, it's a whole process trying to clean this area. From the powders, because I'm using it mostly powders, so I understand why there's a lot of fallout. And now to the other eye. Shame old, shame old, shame old, shame old, sorry. A few hours later, again. I'm going to remove all my things. What usually works if you do something like this, if you're going with your powder, you see as I'm going to this powder. This is a nice thick brush. It's my normal medicine that I didn't brush this thing. This is for like powder. Going to the powder, um, dust it off. 
want a little bit of powder on the and use that powder to wipe out the rest of the things and it, and it will just it comes out it comes out and also it helps not create that um you really would have a line around that area it also helps diffuse that circle or that line that aggressive line yes caused by having the powder there for too long and you can just usually go in with a normal like powder that is that you used for setting i use this one for here I didn't use it for anywhere else um that's the one i'm going in with so Now that we have pulled out a little bit from the from this, this oh, mascara, I do mascara because it helps with the application of the lashes. And my natural lashes are like this, and they're so small, so this pulls them out, it thickens them a little bit, and then I go in with lashes. I'm trying to figure out whether I want to put bronzer or highlight here. You know how much I like it, but I think like I'll decide on that once I put the black lip on. That will then confirm whether I must put that there. That is Cute lashes, very small. Um, I can't do anything to my hair, so I'm just gonna take it out. <laughs> and I'm gonna come back, and then we're gonna figure this final look out. But we'll finish off with the lip. All of that stuff. I'm trying to figure out whether this will work, and this is literally the MAC black lip. What am I saying? If this will work. Of course, it will work. It's black. Remove my gloss. I don't like applying my lip with gloss underneath. I just feel like it makes the whole thing move. And I'm going to put this on and see if this works. Also, I don't line. When I do a black lip, I don't line with anything like a dark brown. Nope. Somehow it just works. It transforms the look and it just works. See, somehow it just works. And already, like, I want to start talking a little bit different. And also because when I put that dark lip on, you can hardly see my lip piercing. And I like the way that it looks. It looks so cute. Because this is usually, this will be the look. The look. And I thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, and then subscribe to the channel. For those guys who are watching like old videos while they wait for new ones, I appreciate you. Thank you so much for getting up my like view account on my videos. I appreciate you and thank you for staying up with me. Have a great day.